Nanotechnology has made possible the scope for low temperature sintering on plastic material. Uh, people will be able to use a regular inkjet printer, for example, to build a circuit. Maybe even create a, a fully functioning uh, computer based on a piece of, based on a, on a sheet of plastic. So the uh, potentials are are immense. And low temperatures are a must because you talk about flexible substrates that high temperatures will basically destroy them. Paper and film itself has limitations in regards to the types of temperatures that you can get to for drying. It's slowing things down. Look at any printer circuit board or many, many of the electronic devices that are coming on the market. All of them have copper. So centering without oxidation for copper is basically it's a very difficult process. Cost-wise, it's much more desirable, but uh, yeah, but uh, it's technical-wise, it's much harder to do. There's this need in regards to new technologies, and this is where the Xenon system um, comes in. By using a pulse light uh, process, where we have a very narrow pulse of light, which has a huge amount of energy, uh, you can. Uh, impart a lot of energy onto the substrate for a very short amount of time. The right amount of time for it to melt the metal, but uh, too short for it to actually increase the temperature of this uh, material. In copper sintering, for example, you require a lot more energy than you would with, with silver. Designing systems which are flexible, so allow us to tweak and adjust the settings it made it uh, very easy for us to come up with a solution for uh, sintering copper, which at the moment is uh, a significant challenge in the industry. The best possible scenario when working, doing research and, and, and working with the company is that it's, it's an open exchange, an open dialogue. Uh, we would like a stable and a good supplier of tabletop or laboratory units. So it's very important to have a, such a relatively low cost uh, system available for the researchers can explore. Uh, we've um, developed two systems, uh, one which is the Syntron 500. That is predominantly a uh, R&D tool, uh, specifically for um, silver uh, inks. We have also designed the Syntron 2000, and that uh, system has a much more controllability in its pulse width and the energy which you can set the lamp to flash. This is especially useful for copper inks because the operational window for sintering of copper is very, very small. And the Syntron 2000 allows you to do that uh, and also allows you to scale uh, moving forward to a production system. The challenge will be to provide the necessary pulse of light, of energy, in a very short time such that the manufacturing line can move at very high speed. In order to really uh, commercialize the technologies, you have to be able to take what has been done in the lab and you've got to, of course, scale up. Because we uh, have control over all aspects of this technology, the lamp design is critical in uh, establishing the, the amount of energy that a lamp can deliver, the characteristics, and we can rapidly turn around these designs and then rapidly developing that into a production system uh, moving forward. So yes, we work with many companies. Lately, we are very uh, uh, impressed by what Xenon uh, is doing in this field. So yes, I, I like the cost, I like the flexibility, I like the availability, and I like the professionalism of uh, the people at Xenon. Well, I think we are living in exciting times nowadays where we're just using very, very simple things. We're using an ink, we're using light, and you're bringing those two together and we're making 
um, electronic circuits and systems out of them. And I think that that in, in its own right has its own excitement. Yeah.